being a female MMA fighter does have its unique challenges in the, you know, it's a male dominated sport, so most of your training partners are going to be men. And a lot of the time, the women, you see them fight and they can make the men look terrible because they're so much more technical because they're always stuck with these big dudes that they got to spar with. Exactly. And a lot of us men, we bring to the table more of an athletic and aggressive approach to martial arts, whereas a lot of ladies, they, they don't come from that kind of background. And also, they don't have the kind of masculine ego. So they learn techniques, they learn them appropriately, and, you know, it's just, it's art form. It's an art form to watch them. I got tapped today by, t tapped today by a lady, actually. Haley, Haley tapped me. Haley's a monster. There's no, She's there's incredible. No, there's no, uh, nothing to worry about there. I, should, I feel a little bit bad though. <laughs> Only because I was able to escape the first time. But, jeez. Yeah, Haley Carter, British champion, New York Open champion earlier this year. Incredible. So, of course, all you ladies that are thinking about taking out martial arts, Haley, Haley Carter, excellent success story from RGA Bucks. You know, she, were, she definitely controls a lot of the guys down there. And uh, is able to destroy us. Monica. Tortosia here. She's from London Fight Factory. Now, probably one of the biggest gyms in the country. So many pros, so many champions have come out of that gym. So, uh, you know that she's been training well, coached well, and got great sparring partners. Real quality. Daniel Hutton re representing 360 MMA, who unfortunately, they've got two losses tonight. They weren't 60. able to. Or, yeah, they? 360 MMA from Loughborough, and this is Strikers Gym. In all their 360 MMA guys fights this evening, we've just seen a weakness in the grappling department. And I know that London Fight Factory has some really good Brazilian Jiu Jitsu black belts coaching there. So mm -hmm. we will see if uh, Monica is a is a grappler, and Danielle is a striker and that could be an interesting as that's the that's the way it is but you never know until they get in the ring and start seeing them throw those strikes and danielle looks a little bit more subdued where monica is really amped up and she's pacing around in her corner bouncing talking to her corner ready to go danielle looks a little bit more subdued a little bit calmer and of course there's a lot of pressure now on 360 mma they have had three straight losses today at battle arena 39 and i'm sure a lot of pressure is on danielle hutton right now to turn that around in this 58 kilogram and 360 MMA have got a big crowd here supporting them, and I'm sure they'd love to have a win to get behind. And what a way to get it. With our first female fight of the night. We have one more going on a little bit later. For this one at 58 kilograms, which is just around flyweight for the men's. And uh, looking very focused. Both fighters look amped up, ready to go. I think this could be a real uh, barn burner is the right expression, I think. Yeah. I like the look in Daniel Hutton's eyes. She's not leaving him. She's locked with Monica Tortosa. Daniel Hutton, I love the look on her face right now. She's just staring through Monica Tortosia. Really mean that Daniela's going to struggle with it. And we'll see how they come out here. A lot of movement there from Monica. Daniel's trying to land. Oh, oh, big right hand. She lands right off the bat, setting up with the left. Monica answers back with some looping shots of her own. Daniela's throwing some bombs. She's really using her range route. She's a slightly taller fighter, slightly longer nice reach. Kick. And she's using it excellent. Yeah, she's mixing up with kicks and punches. She's got a long jab there. Oh, oh. but there's that, there's that clinch and that takedown that we were going to look for from the London Fight Factory. We know 360 MMA has been struggling. She's got that neck wrapped fairly tight. She's got an arm in. I think from that position, it's going to be really hard to finish that guillotine because from half guard, it is. there's a few guys that specialize in finishing it from half guard, but... It's arm in from half guard. It's not the right position. And as I predicted, Monica's just slipped out of it there. And, and now let's see how it was on the, on the ground. I think uh, Daniela had a slight advantage on the feet. She definitely had a slight advantage on the feet. She was getting that hook in there to maybe look to take the back. 
and that high leg that she has there, but now she's in this half butterfly position. She's got to look to get her back against the fence maybe and stand up, depending on how, how good her pedigree is on the ground. She might be that lone 360 fighter we could see do some wizardry on the ground. <laughs> Monica's nope. doing it. Oh, we had to have a stop. Nope. Is it B-class? B it's class a B-class fight, yes. no and she's been in uh, punching in the head. I think she's unaware of the rules. Yeah, just a little bit of a warning there. Might have to have a, have a point taken away. That's we'll interesting. Losing the point, but does Paul reset them in the same position, I guess? The advantage is to Daniela if she, they don't reset in the same position. She was the one that had the foul committed against her, so maybe the right thing would be to uh, start stood up again. Paul Nick's saying he's not going to take a point away, but they should be aware of the, of the rules right off the bat, of course. It's so hard. In Paul training, you're hitting the head. You're, just, you're used to fighting one way, and then in the fight, under all that pressure, all of a sudden you've got to change. You've got to follow the rules. That's what you got to do. You can't be heel-hooking people in blue belt tournaments and things like that just because I might heel hook people every once in a while in training. <laughs> it's an agreement. It's a gentle, gentle lady's agreement. Oh, let's look for the, oh, she goes back to that, that guillotine and almost allows herself to be this slammed into the mat. She's got it a little bit tighter this time. It's arm in though. It is. If she can start hipping in maybe and using her, yeah, using her body to extend. But she didn't. And now Monica's out again and on top. It's interesting how you score that because Monica's ended it on top, but only because Daniela pulled guard trying to finish the submission. So working, a, working a high... Oh, oh, possibility for an armbar there from Danielle Hutton. You said Danielle Hutton was the one that, to prove that 365 MMA have some uh, ground game, and you might be right. She's active on the bottom. She is getting active. I want to see that foot come to the hip, though, if she's going to start, start rotating her hips for an armbar. Uh, Monica seems pretty stuffed there. Well... It's very difficult without being able to do ground and pound, and then Daniela's doing a really good job controlling her arms, looking for, uh, looking to get that angle, look, look for an arm bar, but Monica's very aware of it. That's why she's staying so flat. And compact there. She's keeping her elbows in, trying to rest her elbows on the body of Daniel Hutton and try to avoid the, the arm bar. Daniel Hutton doing really well to keep those hips active on the ground. Yep. And as, as soon as Monica opens up for any sort of strike, Daniel's ready to, to pounce with a submission attempt. It's just such a shame this round is almost over because I think Daniel did a really good job of trying to set up that arm bar. Oh, wow. <laughs> just on the Daniel buzzer. Hutton, I'm sorry for everything I said about 360 MMA and grappling. You need to start taking the grappling classes, my dear. You're doing it really well. Excellent hip movement. A really good arm bar attempt. Lovely. Love and exactly what we were saying, Chris. These ladies, brilliant technique right off the get-go. Daniel Hutton with some crisp, clean shots. Monica Tutosia with an excellent series of double legs. And then, of course, the piece de resistance. Our girl, Daniel Hutton, landing an armbar there at the very end of the round. Unfortunately, just not enough time to finish it. Of course, we'd like to say, of course, Viking Warriors, they have those, those female spats, those various Supergirl spats. So go, go over to vikingwarriornutrition.co.uk and see if you can order some. I'm sure the missus would love them. Do you grapple in tight, seriously? Only singlets. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's what yeah. rash guards are cool. It's basically grappling with your balls out. This is going to be interesting to see what Daniel does. Maybe Monica will try and stand on the feet now because of uh, Daniel's very active guard. Yeah, that had to be, that had to be worrying. And there, Daniel is establishing that jab first off in the left hook. Katosha's really throwing those looping hooks in. She needs to start setting them up. Those leg kicks of Daniel Hutton's are going to be really painful as this fight, lay, fight seems to go on. Nice little shuffle there, though, from Monica Tatoja. Oh, great head kick. That landed. Got a smile from Monica. Body kick again. That's good. She's mixing it up really, really well. Nice oh, take down. Excellent take down there. Excellent. Let's see if Daniel Hutton can regain guard and look to continue attack. Monica Tatoja has got some really good top control here as we're in side control. She might be looking to pass over. It's kind of a almost half guard there. It's kind of a foot out half guard. <laughs> it's uh, interesting, oh. that one. There we go. What Monica should have done there was uh, pass to side control. And you can see the look on Daniel Hutton's face. She's very composed. She's very calm. She's got the underhook there on the right side. 
that she should have. And there she uses that to reverse position. Now she's in side control. I think Danielle's and, uh, definitely looking like the better grappler in this matchup. And, uh, so far, so good. But I would like to see her stand up and almost out of there just yeah. to avoid any sort of submission attempts that Monica Tortosia has got. And she does. She wants it on the feet. Let's see what Monica Tortosia has to answer with. I want to see Monica start setting things up with a little bit more straight punch style. Really nice lead head kick there. Yeah, that lead leg roundhouse kick has landed a couple of times now. She just needs a little bit more snap in it, a little bit more power. And kids, if you're watching at home, look at Daniel Hutton as, as, a, as a real role model for striking prowess. She had her hands up. She was composed the entire time. Monica's Just don't give up your back like this. Monica's though. doing a really good job of timing, closing the distance, so that she always ends up on Danielle's back. It's very impressive. But she's not doing much with it. We saw the takedown, but then she lost position, and now she's struggled to stay on the back and lost the position. She very got those, close fight, this. Yep, she got those double unders. And even this bear hug position, it's very hard to finish. Look for Monica to hopefully flare up her elbows and try to lock below the hips of Daniel Hutton for a double leg. But Daniel's pummeled back in and it's able to reverse the position and now here we are again and those head kicks are what's going to stay in the judge's mind so it's obvious that Monica has to get something off here to try to sway the judges in her favor because that first round was all Hutton despite two takedowns oh there we go and oh big strikes lovely punches on there by Danielle it seems that Monica's a little bit fatigued now she's dropping her hands she's not as crisp as she was at the beginning of the fight Daniel Hutton is though Big oh, right great hand there. Right. On the button. There's a few more. On Hooks. the button. Oh, yeah. if Danielle could finish these rounds or just have an extra 10 seconds, I think she might have finished the first one with an arm bar. She might have KO'd her then. <laughs> Here we go. Monica Tutoja again looking for the movement and trying to open up some sort of striking game. As Danielle Hutton just keeps landing teeps. Lead roundhouses, and watch for the jab of Daniel Hutton to be setting up that right hand, that strong right hand that she's got cocked and loaded. Dan Danielle is doing such a good job of There's a landing up, strikes at range. The checking kicks and then immediately throwing that right kick back, and that left leg head kick as well, that lead leg roundhouse kick. There and we go, left hook on the way out. I'd like to see a little bit more lateral movement maybe from Daniel Hutton. And Monica's corner is screaming for a takedown. I She's think running they recognize the this dominance is, is Danielle's strikes. Uh, if, Daniel, if Danielle was to move a little bit more laterally, she'd be able to, to get away from those, those takedowns a little more easily. Oh, there she goes. Good right. Oh, lovely leg kick after it as well. Such smooth combinations. Just very smooth. Left, right, left, right. Once again, Monica kind of gets that back position there, and then Danielle recovers guard. Excellent. Really good re guard recovery there. The awkward thing for here is Danielle's, she had a head against the cage, but Monica moved her. That's possibly a mistake on Monica's behalf. And not quite experienced enough in the cage work. There we're seeing Danielle setting up for that arm bar again, the way she's swiveling her hips. And that high guard, she's, for our listeners, she's trying to get work her legs up high so she can control the posture of Monica so that she can then start setting up submissions from that position. Monica looking to the crowd, she's She's done really well to get a series of takedowns in this in this match. But it's very hard for her to, to get anything going on the ground without passing that guard and looking to establish submissions of her own. Daniel Hutton is really active with those legs, so at any time, Monica looks to try to land any punches or pull those hands back to land some power. Daniel's waiting with submission attempts. It'll be very off-putting. It can be very awkward for the, the person on the bottom, the, guard, the person with the guard, trying to set up submissions when you're so close to the fence because they can get in the way. But then it's useful sometimes because you can walk off it, get your feet on it, push off it, and it, it can be a hindrance or a help depending on where you are. But I think for Danielle here, it's a little bit of a hindrance because it's affecting her posture, having her head pushed against it. But Monica's not really looking to pass. She's just ground and pounding. It would be a little bit different if you're doing A-class where she was allowed to hit the head, but... Not much in it in a B-class fight. Daniel's wrapping the head. She's been doing that constantly, which unfortunately is leading to the takedowns, but she wraps the head and looks to stand up like she's doing. She could get ourselves back to the feet. She's got the neck wrapped, and she's going for an arm and guillotine again. There's the knee. She's making oh, beautiful knees here to finish this fight. 
Monica gets the takedown, but Danielle has the guillotine attempt. I wonder how the judges will score this. This is a hard fight to score because Danielle was probably on the, a little bit ahead in the striking, but then Monica got a takedown, and then Monica finished with a takedown as well. But then it was maybe it was Danielle just pulling guard, trying to get guillotine. I'm, uh, I'm glad I'm not a re uh, judge for this fight. In my mind, though, the head kicks, they score, the arm bar scores, and that barrage at the end of the second round really score well. And the guys at 360 MMA have got to be really chuffed with Daniel, J Daniel Hutton's excellent performance tonight. So after three great rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecard. And we have a split decision. Your winner from the blue corner. Yeah. 